beautiful people it's me rosalie welcome to the ultimate world music reaction channel all about music and psychology exploring another artist from america today nf rapper singer songwriter he has been putting out amazing songs i've been listening to several of them i've been on this journey exploring some of his music extra content is also available on patreon.com and buymeacoffee.com so if you want to see other videos other music of his that i react to as i'm on this journey go check those pages out get yourself a membership support this channel but also get access to awesome content but this is a big one that many 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 of you have been waiting on and i have been anxious to do i've been i'm honest with you i have been anxious about this i have been uh i'm already about to get emotional ha i gotta get my toilet paper roll a tissue roll um i have been excited about this because i know many of you have been waiting for it and because it's huge it's a song that was put out five years ago has 79 million views and i've been warned by you that this is a heavy one and you've already seen me cry if you've been following my nf journey on some of his tracks or jamming out to the beat and enjoying the lyrics on some of the others but some of his music is really heavy, and I know that's why many of you love him so much, because it's relatable, it's personal, it's not mumbo-jumbo, it's not crap, it's not something that some of the rap we find out there that condones violence and perversion and is just confusing and sick. It's not only good music, great production, amazing lyrics, good rapping skills, awesome beats, it's meaningful lyrics, it's relatable, and I think that's why many of you love him, and that's why I love him. And there's quite a few things he raps about that are very personal and dear to me. So I'm going to need a lot of wisdom today, how I'm going to react to this, how much I'm going to let you into my world. <laughs> because, you know, this is so cool to do these type of things, to share music with you. And sometimes it's easier because I can just have fun and dance on my chair and, you know, bring this music to you that you may or may not know. Sometimes it's so emotional, though, that it gets very personal. And it takes wisdom, you know, how much you share, what you share, because... You guys are awesome and you guys have been very great when it comes to responding and comments and feedback. But whenever you are on a platform, uh, whenever you have an audience that you speak to, you need wisdom, right? The teacher will be judged twice as hard. I don't want to ever misteach, misspeak. I don't want to misguide. But also when it comes to personal things, there's a balance between being authentic, between being vulnerable, but also speaking with wisdom. For example, if there's people that have hurt me, I wouldn't want to bash them by name because for one, I don't think that that's right. I don't think that shows maturity and forgiveness in me. But also, many not everybody has the wisdom to hear those things without now seeing the other as the enemy, right? So I'm going to need a lot of wisdom today, how much I share, how I share it. But I want to be authentic with you. I'm already going to let you know, heads up, the song is going to be personal. And that's why I'm a little scared <laughs> to share that with you. Uh, because it to me is weird. Like, I've cried and I've shared that with you guys on this platform because I'm about real talk. But uh, I could also see people being like, that's just weird, right? Because you see some of those videos out there where people are like recording themselves crying and it's like, what is, this is weird. Like, this is social media, so it's real, but it's not real. These are real people watching us, but it's still social media. And uh, there's, it takes a lot of wisdom because you live in a day and age now where some people, they, they, they record every moment of their journey and it's in an unhealthy way. And that's one extreme, right? There's no more, you know, self-awareness. It's all just for views and it's all just for a filter and for the camera. And it's overshare, TMI, right? And then there's the other opposite where it's like fake and ha <laughs> you know, you're having people, you know, at a distance putting up a wall. I want to be real with you guys, but I'm, like I said, I'm going to need wisdom. So I'm rambling right now. As you can see, I'm rambling because I am nervous. But here we go. All right. I don't got tissues. I'm going to use a toilet paper roll if I, if I need it. I mean, maybe I won't cry. Maybe I will just, you know, it'd be touched and uh, be able to keep my, my uh, heart safe. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> oh, and as always, like, share, subscribe. Links below if you want to say thanks. If you want to become a patron, get access to extra NF content. Um, what else? What else? What else? Get some merch. I have some real merch. Like, literally, it's real. But also, it says real because I made a real connection because of my channel is all about real music, real real talk, real reactions. NF is about real music. So I thought some of y'all might like a dope t-shirt with, like, a cap in honor of NF. It says real. Check it out. All right. I am stalling. <laughs> Could you leave so unexpected? We waited, we waited for oh, you, but you just left us. We needed you, I needed you. You, I don't know. 
what it's like to be addicted to pills But I do know what it's like to be a witness to kills Mama told me she loved me, I'm thinking this isn't real I think of you when I get a whiff of that cigarette smell, yeah Welcome to the bottom of hell They say pain is a prison, let me out of my cell You say you proud of me, but you don't know me that well Sit in my room, tears running down my face and I yell Into my pillowcases, say you coming to get us Then call a minute later just to tell us you're not I'm humiliated, I'm in a room with a parent that I don't barely know Some lady in the corner watching us while she's taking notes I don't get it mom, don't you wanna watch your babies grow? I guess pills are more important, all you have to say is no But you won't do it, will you? You gon' keep poppin' till them pills kill you I know you're gone, but I can still feel you Let's go back. Fudge, man. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, this is too heavy. This is a little too heavy. Okay. <clears throat> you say you're proud of me. Let's keep proud of me, but you don't know me that well. Sit in my room, tears running down my face, and I yell. Into my pillowcases, say you coming to get us. Then call a minute later just to tell us you're not. I'm humiliated. I'm in a room with a parent that I don't barely know. Some lady in the corner watching us while she's taking notes. I don't get it, mom. Don't you wanna watch your babies grow? I guess pills are more important. All you have to say is no. But you won't do it, will you? You gon' keep popping till them pills kill you. I know you're gone, but I can still feel you. Him crying kills me. Why would you leave us? Why would you leave us? How could you leave us? How could you leave us? Why would you leave us? Him crying kills me, dude. I got this picture in my room and it kills me. But I don't need a picture of my mom, I need the real thing. Now a relationship is something we won't ever have. But why do I feel like I lost something that I never had? You should have been there when I graduated. Told me you love me and congratulations. Instead, you left us at the window waiting. Where you at, mom? What's your young to understand? Where you at, huh? Yeah, I know them drugs that got you held captive. I can see it in your eyes, they got your mind captured. Some say it's fun to get the high, but I am not laughing. And what you don't realize and what you're not grasping, that I was nothing but a kid who couldn't understand it. I ain't gonna say that I forgive you, cause it hasn't happened. I thought that maybe I'd feel better as time passes. If you really cared for me, then where you at then? Why would you leave us? Why would you leave us? As time passes. If you really cared for me, then where you at then? Why would you leave us? Why would you leave us? How could you leave us? How could you leave us? Why would you leave us? Last conversation, you and I sat in the living room Talking about my music and I brought you something to listen to You started crying, telling me this isn't you A couple weeks later, guess you were singing a different tune You took them pills for the last time, didn't you? They took you from us once, I guess they came back to finish you Crying my eyes out in the studio is difficult Music is the only place that I can go to speak to you it took everything inside of me not to scream at your funeral Sitting in my chair, that person talking was pitiful I wish you were here, mama, but Every time I picture you, all I feel is pain. I hate the way I remember you. They found you on the floor. I could tell you felt hollow. Gave everything you had, plus your life to them pill bottles. You gave everything you had, plus your life to them pill bottles. Don't know if you hear me or not, but if you're still watching, why? Why would you leave us? Why would you leave us? How could you leave us? How could you leave us? Why would you leave us? <laughs> sometimes I think about like <clears throat> Sometimes I think about things like 
no, I want not to have kids. I'm like, <laughs> you won't be there, you know. You won't be there for any of that. Called you. I wish I would have just picked up the phone. But you were here. I mean, you should have been there for us. You should have been here. The pills got you right. And pills got you right. I wish you were here. I should have made sure I don't have any other videos to review after this because <laughs> all my makeup is shot. Maybe not. Whatever. I don't even care. This is heavy, guys. This is heavy and it hurts. Oh, I'm going to have to like edit out me snotting and blowing my nose because nobody wants to hear that. Oh, man. Hearing an F uh, cry nearly killed me. He reminds me a lot about about. He reminds me a lot of my brothers. There's certain people in my life or certain people when I see them cry, it just, it kills me. I mean, generally, I think I'm an empath. When I hear people cry, you know, it affects me. But naturally, there's certain people that when they cry, um, it'll hit me even harder. Obviously, people that are close to me, people that I care about, that I want to protect. Um, but yeah, he, he reminds me of uh, my brothers, specifically one of them. It explains why this song has over 79 million views. I think many of you could probably really relate to this, either for personal reasons or someone you know, because this song is deep. It really deals with some of the deepest pain. And that could be because you've lost a parent or because you've lost a child or a sibling or an uncle or an aunt. Maybe because you've lost someone to addiction or you are afraid you will. Um, it could also be just someone that died to suicide due to other, you know, um, illnesses, due to other struggles, depression, anxiety, you know, different, different reasons. But when you lose someone and they leave you, when they commit suicide, it leaves those left behind with a lot of grief and with a lot of emotions to work through. So let me try to address this and speak on this in stages because I think that'll help me sort my thoughts and maybe also make it a little easier for you to follow. Musically, let me speak of on something that's a little more easy to speak on. It's not as emotional, so I can like cool myself down. Um, musically, I found it to be a very, very great production. Um, his rap was very, his rapping is always very cool to me. Um, it's I can understand it. It's clear. It's rhythmically very well done. And I'm no um you know expert when it comes to rapping and cadences and you know all the different details that go into that skill because it is truly a skill but the little that I know even just from personal preferences and taste I like the way that he raps rhythmically and melodically I like how he flows with the different beats I like how he can transition I've seen that in different uh, songs of his I like the passion he brings in when he raps it's very clear his pronunciation is very good. The beats of his songs are awesome. I mean, it depends on which one you listen to. In some, it's heavy on the beat. In others, it's, you know, a little more poppy or rocky. In others, there's a big emphasis on the, the rap and, the, you know, the, the aggressive rapping. Others are heavier on the actual singing, which is awesome. Here, that piano introduction and the way it carried the track was very fitting, I feel, to add to the, the, the emotion, the drama. And when I say drama, I don't mean as in, oh, just being dramatic, but as in like the drama, the grief, the tra tragedy, um, the ballad vibe of it. Hearing him cry, that really wrecked me. That was hard to hear and see. It was very real. You can tell it was real. It wasn't, it was real. <laughs> he probably broke down in the studio and this was probably really, really hard that I hope there were people there that really could carry him as he was working through this. So musically awesome production. Uh, let's speak an F specific. He's the GOAT. He is amazing. I mean, and when I say GOAT, I'm not talking about the best of all. You know, there's a lot of awesome artists. I'm not one that has like one favorite or considers one better than everybody else. I don't. I don't really understand people so well. Sometimes I have a hard time relating to people that have one specific artist and they say that's the best of the generation or the best in the universe or so. Um, I've never heard Aliens sing, but I don't know if that's really the best in the universe. <laughs> um, but all kidding aside, like 
I love music from all around the world. I love variety. And so I appreciate all kinds of art um, forms and all kinds of things that goes for fragrances, that goes for colors, that goes for clothing, that goes for music, um, that goes for foods. I love life. And there's so many beautiful things and I don't just have one favorite. But when I say he's the goat, he's amazing. He is so skilled in what he does but he is so relatable. We've got to support him. So if you haven't yet subscribed to his channel, support him, follow him, support him. I think we need to lift up musicians like this um, because they're using their skill and their talent, even at the risk of being ridiculed and threatened and insulted to not only provide for their family and make a living for themselves and promote their skills, but really change people's lives. He is changing people's lives. You guys have said that on his videos over and over again. To me, it's profound. When I shared my reaction with my siblings, they, some of them, they know of him and they feel very similar. People can really work through things through his music. It's not just like, wow, this is dope, but it's like, dang, because it's so personal. And it's not just personal as an, oh, wow, me too. Wow, I get this. I've been there. But the way that he works through these things and the way that he's doing the hard work, which that's not something that people talk about a lot these days. I don't feel. Maybe some do, but it depends, I guess, who you talk to. But if we're just talking superficially, TikTok trends and the things that go viral, there's a whole lot of stuff out there where people are dealing with the symptoms, not the disease. And people will go around and try all these external things from chopping off body parts or slapping on a ton of makeup or buying a bunch of products, we're doing so many things externally, buy this, do this, change this, you know, but we're not dealing with the underlying issue, right? When people are miserable within themselves, trying to be somebody else is not going to fix that because it's a deeper thing. But we live in a day and age right now where I feel like a lot of people are dealing with the symptoms and they're applauding it, they're praising it. We got people out there left and right who are busier identifying themselves with their pronouns and I'm gonna make some of y'all mad, but it's the truth. People are, some people seem to be busier with basing their identity on the pronouns instead of the verbs and the adjectives. The English language is beautiful. All languages are beautiful. There are very, very many different types of words in the la English language, just to use English as an example. Pronouns is a very small part of it. Other words like nouns, verbs, adjectives, and this is not gonna turn into an ELA lesson, no worries. But what we should be more focused on is the adjectives. Are we kind? Are we generous? Are we wise? right? Our verbs, what are we doing with our life? Are we creating? Are we encouraging, right? The verbs and the adjectives should be what defines us. What are we doing and who are we, right? Adjectives and verbs. But sometimes it feels like there's a certain, there's certain, um, depending again on who you listen to, where there's more focus on the pronouns than there is what you're doing, your characteristics. And same with the symptoms. A lot of people praising someone trying to cover up, trying to deal with their symptoms, Instead of going, okay, I hear you, I understand, you're hurting, but let's talk about the underlying thing. And without getting off on a big tangent, I'm saying all that because we've got to go deeper. And NF is doing the hard work, and that's why I applaud him. Even from a therapeutic standpoint, I applaud him. He is doing the hard work, but he is incredibly brave for doing that on a stage, for doing that in front of millions who could scrutinize, who could use that. Because that is hard. Even here, like I said, I don't want to just be someone that's like recording herself crying because that'll get you guys to click. Like, I don't want to be like that. That's just weird. So even showing you this video and letting you guys see some of this is hard because it's... Sure, I want you guys to watch this video. I want you to enjoy it because you've waited, been waiting for it for a long time. But I just want to sit here and go, I'm not a clown, right? Um... These reactions and this channel is supposed to be a community where we can enjoy music and talk about it in depth. And it's not just, oh my gosh, and then we move on. And yeah, I think many of you get that because you guys appreciate the depth that NF brings and the courage he has to deal with some of this hard stuff and to let us see it. That is incredibly courageous because this is so personal. And we know why it's personal because he's been through a lot of crap, grew up with struggles, um, beaten, abused by his, um, by his mom's boyfriend. Based on the song, it looks like even had visitations when he had visitations with his mom because of her addictions, you know, a, a, someone from the state would probably, um, observe and watch his visitations with his mom. That's already very traumatic and hard on kids when they're pulled away from their parents. They're going back and forth between parents and now a stranger is in the corner of the room taking notes. So a lot of what he's talking about here just really reflects on his experience and the biggest part here being his mom leaving them by committing suicide by overdosing because of her pill addiction. And this is just so profound that he would be so personal. 
it hit me just to go on to the next category. We're talking music. We're talking his courage and his skill and what this means to him. Now let's talk about something more personal. It hit me very hard because it is very relatable. Um, I don't want to, like I said in the beginning, I don't want to name names. I don't want to give too much information because it really takes wisdom how much you share because people take that in different ways or they might start viewing other people through a different lens based on other people's reports. It is very relatable because I know what it's like to have addiction in the family and in a parent. And I know what it's like, though this person hasn't died yet, in the past, over the years, would either threaten to commit suicide um, with through their addiction. And it wasn't pills, but it was alcohol. Um, or they would drink so much that it nearly caused, um, death. And I, for me, it started around age 12, but some of my siblings were much younger. Um, the youngest being, I think three when it all started. And so it's very relatable because I know what it's like when a parent has an addiction. I know what it's like when you are afraid that this person is going to die, when you wish they were around for your children. Cause that could even be the case when that person is still alive, when a with addiction, it's so sad that it could happen any day. So there's this lingering fear of when are they going to go? Because, you know, they've been living like this for a long time. You kind of hold your breath because it could happen any day. It's sad because even if they are still alive, if they're still struggling with that addiction or there's damage now from all those years of that abuse, it just brings a lot of grief. You know, it, it, it can be both. It can be that the person dies, like in his case, he actually lost, she, she's gone now. And there's a lot of work to be done to process that, a lot of pain of feeling abandoned, feeling left, even just seeing the kids there alone, like that broke my heart. Or it could be that the person is still alive, but they've left mentally, they've checked out emotionally, or they keep checking out because they keep choosing the addiction. And when you're a child, even a teenager, and you have a parent or a caregiver or someone that's close to you that keeps falling back into the traps of addiction and doesn't say no, like he was rapping about, Though I know addiction is, it's hard. It's not, it's easier said than done to just say no to a, an addiction, to no to a drug. But as a child, as a, as a, as a, as a, a, someone's child, someone's daughter or son, there is definitely that pain and that question of like, why am I not lovable enough? Like, why don't you love me enough? Why are you choosing this drug over me? Why are you leaving us? Why are you abandoning us for that substance? I, even when he talked about that, about having kids one day and her not being there for them, like, dang, so personal so relatable that hurt that feeling of man you 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 missed it with me for many many years there a lot of pain was done but i've forgiven you've asked for forgiveness but now you're also not being there for my kids and that's a, that's a pain that's a that's a pain that is just it's deep the grief of leave, being left behind seeing those kids in the room and the camera zooming out and them being left basically as she was overdosing was very heavy because not only is this personal to me i know it's personal to many of you i know there's many kids out there who are being abused and it breaks my heart. I wish I could save them all. So many people out there hurting kids that need a mom and a dad, that need someone to step up. And maybe you are that child. Maybe you were that child and now you're a teenager, an adult, wherever you're listening from. And you feel abandoned and left behind. And maybe this makes you cry because you know what it feels like. Either you lost someone to suicide, to drug addiction, um, or you've struggled with addiction. and You've broken free and you deal with the guilt sometimes of what you've lost or the pain you've caused. I hope that we can end this heavy, heavy, heavy video on the note that there is hope. NF had to and probably still has to do the hard work of healing so he can be the best for his family now. But he is mighty courageous because he's doing the hard work and he will break that generational curse, that generational crap, and he will not do what his mom has done. He's going to step up and be better. And I think that's the message we all need to hear for those of us who've lost someone or who are in the process of losing someone or who are dealing with the ramifications of that loss, regardless if that person has physically died yet or not. Addiction is a mother plumber. That sounds bad too. A mess. Um, so regardless if you are someone who has experienced this and can relate to NF side, or maybe you are someone who can relate to the mother side, someone who's a struggling struggling with addiction or has struggled i want to encourage you that there's hope as long as your heart is still beating there is hope if you're struggling with addiction be brave today don't end up being someone that leaves those that love you behind that leaves those who are still here asking the question how could you leave us do the work get help those of you who have overcome addiction and are recovering i'm so flippant proud of you i am so proud of you and I say that because I wish that for the 
person I'm referring to, that they would do the hard work and they're not yet. So if you are recovering or you're doing the work, I'm so proud of you. And I say that on behalf of anybody that you may have hurt in the process, even if they are not willing to forgive you yet, even if they're not willing to be proud of you yet, if you're doing the hard work, even if nobody applauds you because you're doing what you need to do, keep going. I'm proud of you. Keep going. I want you to know you're forgiven. There's forgiveness for the crap we've done. There's forgiveness for the pain that's been caused us. I'm working on forgiving that person that has hurt me. It's been hard because I've forgiven in the past and then things keep happening. But I just want you to know that your life is worth living. And if you're one of those people that have been that child, I wish I could hug you right now and just be that mom to you and give you that, that, that hug, that love that you need. But I hope you know that you're loved. And if you know of a child or someone in your proximity that needs that, don't turn, your, your, don't turn a closed eye. Help them. Be there for them. Because there were people in my life that were there. And some of them have already passed now too. But they were lifesavers. They showed up. They knew something was wrong at home. And they were there. And every so often they would, you know, come take us somewhere or help out. Those people I will never forget. So if you know someone who needs help, don't turn a blind eye. You could be that, that lighthouse in their life. You never know what's going on behind closed doors. If you're struggling with addiction, get help. If you're working on getting out of it, keep going. As long as your heart is still beating, there's hope. And this life is flipping worth living, you guys. This life is precious and we were not put here to waste it away. <laughs> the ultimate music and psychology mix right here. Dealing with suicide, with addiction, with the questions that we ask when someone leaves. There's a Bible verse actually that says, When your father and your mother forsake you, the Lord, God, will receive you. So that's also something I'm holding on to. That he will not forsake us. Even when those that we looked to protection for the most, when they fail or when they leave. ooh -wee. Anyways, I didn't get through my whole toilet paper roll, but I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> We're going to end on a somber note today, but lots more coming, so stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. I'm sure I missed some things, you know, when it came to the lyrics. So would you let me know in the comments below as like, share, subscribe if you want. Um, check out the links if you want to say thanks or support this channel. I hope you know this is more than a reaction channel. I hope you know this is a community. So I hope you know this is a place, even if it's virtual, where you can come stop by or join join us on, on Patreon or buy me a coffee and hop over to Discord where we have a fan chat. It's a community where you, you're accepted and you're loved and where you not will not be left behind. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Ayo! Hey